All right, my second baby is my oldest daughter who's about to graduate from the University of Tennessee. She's 22, and let me tell y'all, I know every crow thinks theirs is the blackest, but let me say that she is a beauty, and she is smart, and um, she's done very well in school, and she's in a sorority and done well with her sorority, and she's um, athletic, and uh, she's mean, and um, we're scared to death of her. We walk on eggshells around her. She's not mean to other people or in public. She holds it in so that she can come home and like spew it out onto me. That's okay. That's God's way. But this is what I think happens. When she was a junior her summer between her junior and senior year, I think that God allows this to happen. And you little girls, that your babies aren't this old, let me, just listen to me. All right, one day they'll just turn on you. And you'll think, who in the world is this? Who's coming down the steps in the morning? We don't know who this is. I think that God allows that because he knows that you're about to let your baby go off to college or whatever they're going to do, and he knows that you're grieving. So he makes them just as mean as he can <laughs> so that you can let them go. And I believe that. That summer, the very breath that I breathed out of my nostrils made her so angry. We were not allowed to eat cereal in our own home because she couldn't stand to hear us chew. I don't mean to talk about her because she had a lot on her. She had to empty the dishwasher. <laughs> Stuff like that. That's so hard. Okay, let me tell you about an example when she was probably your baby's age. Y'all, y'all's y'all little children, because y'all are so cute. Look, they, their thyroid's still functioning. Y'all still got hair. Good for y'all. Um, y'all got on little britches. Yay. Okay. When my baby, when my middle one, when she was in elementary school, I was so blessed that I got to pick, take them to school and pick them up every day in my minivan. <laughs> and I would watch them come out, my girls, and I saw them. They were in a good mood. <laughs> I saw it. All right, they would be goosing each other and waving to all the little children and the principal. See you tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> then they they come over to my minivan, get in, slam the door. That middle one would take her backpack and sling me in the back of the head with it. <laughs> She'd say every day something like, I'm starving to death. You don't have a piece of cheese in this car? <laughs> Your driving's making me car sick. <laughs> I hate her. Why did you have her? And the baby would be sitting over the back, she'd be going, Mom, 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 Mom. And I'd say, What? And she'd go, Mom, 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 Mom. I go, What? I'm listening. She could say some of the craziest things. She said to me one day, Did Jesus ever have head lice? How do you answer that? I said, well, baby, I don't, I don't know. But if he did, I know he healed it. Thank y'all so much for watching my special. Um, now, I need you to watch my entire special for 99 cents and then click it. And then I need you to watch more clips and then click it. And I don't know what you're supposed to be clicking, but they tell the young people are telling me, I don't understand, but just click it.